example of how to use the 20 gauge angiocap to do a paracentesis with just one poke. Here's the angiocap we'll be using. It's a 20 gauge, 1.75 inch or 45 millimeter catheter. It looks like this. I'm using saline flush as simulated lidocaine, and then I have a 50 cc Lorelox syringe. The first thing that you want to do when you open this is take the little cap off the back because that prevents you to connect anything that's going to be able to aspirate. So we take that off, and then we'll be ready to go. You've already identified the target on your patient for paracentesis. You've identified that there's no vessels in the plane. You've identified that your needle is long enough to get into the peritoneal space with a little bit of extra, probably about a centimeter left. These catheters do come in longer length as long as 2.5 inches. So you'll go down to the skin. You've sterilized already. You made the area sterile already. You introduce at a flat angle into the skin and you would give a wheel of lidocaine like you normally do. Once the wheel is in, orient the catheter this way and start to inject to numb and then aspirate as you go inject and aspirate. You can usually feel the peritoneum right when you get above it. Once you get to that point, put a little bit more numbing medicine in, push through, aspirate to confirm peritoneal fluid. Once you've confirmed that you're in, advance the angiocath all the way in. Now, in a patient with ascites, there will be ascites fluid streaming out of here, so you want to rather quickly hook up your 60cc syringe to withdraw your sample. And we keep going up to 50 or 60 to be able to get enough for cultures and send for cell counts and things like that. It's as easy as that. It took just a few pieces of equipment. Didn't have to get a whole kit and used a much longer needle than you would have otherwise.